What's happening, bro chachos? So, today's Tech Thursday, and I'm at the new place, but we're not fully moved in yet, so I don't want to ruin the vlog yet. But I decided to bring back an old vlog that I thought should have done a lot better. Well, it's not even a vlog, it's a Tech Thursday, so I guess it's a video tutorial. But yeah, this tutorial is based around the concept of chain tensioners and not all bikes coming with them integrated. So I basically ghetto rigged this a long time ago. Okay, I can't take full credit for this video because I actually read it in a magazine a long time ago and I think it was Jim Selinski that did it. But basically what you do is you take a piece of metal, whether it's a little axle nut, whether it's metal shavings or whatever, that's usually anywhere from like two to six millimeters uh, in length. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna wedge that between your dropout and your axle. So I went to European Union, which is my brother and I's car shop, and this was like version two of the shop, and we did the tutorial there real quickly. If you guys like these type of tutorials, and if you guys have any other ideas, questions, suggestions, whatever, make sure to leave them in the comments. Um, leave me a thumbs up if you really like these type of videos, and if you do, I'm gonna just start doing more and more of them. If you don't, then I'm not gonna, and I'll just do random tutorials that I think are cool. So, guide me in the right direction, guys. I'd appreciate it. Anyhow, I gotta get back to clean up the house and get everything ready because we're having a housewarming party. Tomorrow is also Dickless's graduation. Dickless, which is the guy that works at the shop. He's in high school. So, we're gonna surprise him. Stevie, myself, Began, Connor, and I think Jessica, my sister, are all gonna crash the graduation party, so it should be interesting. Anyways, enough rambling. I'm gonna let you guys watch this video, which has the old school, like, intro, old school music, and the old school outro, and then sprinkled in with a few of the newer age stuff. Anyways, again, let me know if you like this video. If you do, I'll continue making them, and if not, I'm just gonna do random ones. So either way, Thursdays, we're gonna be still locked into some sort of tutorial. y'all today I'm at European Union and I'm gonna give you guys a quick tutorial on how to get a rig your bike for those of you guys that don't know European Union is quite stocked in tools and cars and this guy over here I don't know what he's doing I don't even know who he is some kind of Algonquin Native American guy anyways so yeah this is a shop that my brother and I own and I'm gonna be showing you guys how to fix my whip using some car tools all right, and what are we ghetto rigging, you ask? Well, for today's Tech Thursday, I'm gonna show you guys how to make a ghetto chain tensioner using some nuts and bolts and a 17 shadow multi-tool. Lego. Hey. All right, so first and foremost, you're gonna wanna remove your pegs. All right, so now that the pegs are gone, you're gonna to wanna to kinda of like measure this little gap in between your axle and your frame, and then find a nut that's gonna fit accordingly. The king of the dungeon. What up? What up, Cobra? I gotta do the ghetto chain tensioner today. Oh yeah? Yeah. What's that for this? It's for uh, the wind. Everybody asks. All right, so luckily, Man Cobra had a bunch of nuts and washer bolt assembly kits, so I just kinda of grabbed a few ones. Um, as you can see, there's different size ones. I'm gonna try the little smallest ones first, see if that works. All right, so all you gotta do is push your wheel back a little bit, just to make enough room for this little nut to fit in there. All right, and there you have it. So you want the nut to be nice and flush in there so it doesn't cause a gap between your peg and your dropout. All right, so then you just put your peg back on. And as you can see, it's nice and flush. No gap there. All right, and then you come on the other side and see how much space you're working with there. As you can see, the chain's pretty tight. All right, so as you can see on the drive side, 
the space between my axle and the frame is very small and the nut only fits really sideways. So that's kind of like optional. Once you have one side tied in, the other side is optional. You can put another smaller piece of metal in there or you just leave it because one side is already wedged so that's going to keep the wheel from shifting on that side. So you've already won half the battle. All right, that's all she wrote. My chain is nice and tight. And all I had to do was get these little nuts from the hardware store. They probably cost you around 10 cents, maybe 20 cents at the most. And you get a dialed whip. So hope you enjoyed that. All right, and that's how you dial in your whip. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. And like I said earlier, I'm here on location at European Union, which is a shop that my brother and I own in Lawndale, California. So if you guys are in the area, I'm gonna put the address right here so you guys can come and visit us. And next week, I'm gonna do the rig spot check. So be ready guys, because we're about to go on a little tour of the vehicle that we call the rig. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and I hope you guys watch my other videos as well. I do them daily, so don't forget to stop by every day and check on in. But like always, please like, share, comment, and subscribe. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace. Oh yeah, sorry, forgot you guys were there. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Like I said, it's pretty quick and I think it's something I got overlooked. Um, it's a pretty old video now. It only has like 20,000 views, but I think that this video should have a lot more views because it is something that a lot of you BMX riders out there could use. So again, if you liked it, leave it a thumbs up. And if not, thumbs it down. I won't do it again. But yeah, that's gonna do it all for me today. So as if the other Alfredo didn't say so already, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Most importantly, subscribe because that helps us out. So until next time, see you guys. Much love. Peace. Look at this cat. Look how he's chosen to present himself as the uh... Archduke of the bathroom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Did you get your bars nice? Yeah, well, you know, I figure I never really know exactly what to do with the angle of the bars, but I, I try to do like a little bit more than parallel with the with the stem. Sometimes I go a lot more, sometimes I pull it in. I know a lot of people have it like stuck in their head that like they know exactly where they want their bars. I've been riding for 20 years and I still am not like 100% sure, so I just <laughs> Give it a nice little tight end so it's snug. Okay, and then really gradually, you wanna turn one to two times, and then give it a little tight end. Every time you tighten it, you wanna make it really gradual because if you start doing it too much, it'll just mush and mushroom tip the blade, and that'll make it so it's dull and eventually break. You don't want that. You want some longevity in these blades. This usually should take you somewhere between like 50 and 60 spins. If you're doing it in less than... It's not that we have a short time to live, but that we waste a lot of it. Not that we have a short time to live, but that we waste a lot of it.